Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines 2. I'm here to renovate. Guys, we, uh, I, I, it just got cleared up. I put it on pause, and as soon as I clicked on pause, it automatically cleared it up. But, you'll see it in the thumbnail, maybe. I don't know if I'll use that thumbnail. I've been using, uh, AI thumbnails, just so you guys know. If you're curious on some of my thumbnails for my videos, they're all done through Midjourney AI. So, I have a subscription to that. And, um, but yeah, we, <laughs> I just had a, a big old fire. Actually, I'll just show you the picture. So what we had is a we had a, a snowplow that was coming down the Sycamore Street and it hit must have hit a car and then something happened to the little shopping building over on the side there and you can see there everything was on fire so we had a little accident right here it was kind of cool um, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about is uh, so we have like I don't know what three or four videos out now you guys haven't left any comments to name anything so I went and named it myself it's Tip City I live in Ohio there's a little town called Tip City that's like around me. I'm not going to give you exactly where I live, but I live in that general vicinity. It's actually known as Tippecanoe, uh, but yeah, we, it's known as Tip City, so I'm kind of putting a dot on the map so you guys can know where I am. Uh, in between episodes, guys, I just played. Uh, I've been trying to get us up past Boomtown, and it's uh, winter time, so um, I actually built um, this little neighborhood here, and I've been putting these in, so if you go in, we can actually do, like, zones now. Uh, and then, um, here, let's click on this. Actually, let's click off of that, and then click on this, so you can see. We can do, uh, I don't think that these are locked yet, though, are they? Can we do this? Yeah, we can actually do this. All right, cool. So you can actually set stuff now. It's heavy traffic van, ban, recycling, uh, roadside parking fee, speed bumps. That's kind of cool. But um, I have these set in, um, what do you call these, districts now. So this is Birdsong Downs. Also, if you... It, if you guys leave comments and just maybe leave your name or something, I'll name one of these these subdivisions after you. I don't care. You let me know what you want to do. Uh, but anyways, so we got all these little places, and I did that because we were having an issue with our police department. If you go into the police department, you can select the, the operating districts that it, it works with. So you can see that police department there handles all the, the policing in this neighborhood. And then we have a police department over, that's over here. Let's close this one right here. And then you can select your, your locations that you wanted to protect over here. So I did this little area here, this area here, and excuse me this area here i'm still suffering from bronchitis guys so if i cough i i apologize i try to edit out most of it but sometimes i won't get it so anyways uh but yeah so that's what i did and then i went ahead and bought a bunch of map pieces like a lot so so you can see that i ended up buying all this property so we bought all this property over here in this bottom corner we bought all this property over here in this this side and then i bought a bunch of property up here in the north so the, and the reason i did that is because i wanted to get this train worked out if you remember in the last episode we got the whole train station thing worked out uh, but I wanted to go ahead and get that connected to that southern route so now we have that southern route coming around this way and comes into our train station and that allows us if we come over here to our train yard our passenger yard and we click on this <laughs> go back over here we now have three lines so we have uh, the west line we have the north line and then the yellow one all right, we actually got that named as south. Yeah, so that's the south line is the yellow one. Um, so we can kind of see in here we got, uh, does it actually tell us how many trains or how many passengers we have? Passengers, nine. Uh, how many passengers are on this one? There's 12. And passengers on this one, there's 20. So we're actually getting more from that one. We don't need three vehicles for that, by the way. So let's change that and close that. Actually, let's go in here. I want to see how many trains we got. We got one set to that one and one set to that one. That's fine. So we don't need all those trains. That's just a lot of work. Uh, the cargo one is working fine over here. So I actually went in, went in and set up another line so that... This one goes to the north, this one goes to the south and west, believe it or not. So that's how I got that set up. I hate that the snow is out right now. Uh, we don't have this this road extended yet. We don't have that bought. Uh, but I set up this little neighborhood right here. And I started terraforming the side of this mountain because we really didn't have any use for this mountain. So you can see I got the roads. Uh, this was kind of fun. I really enjoy the terrain editing in this game. I really do. It's 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 fun to play with. Um, and you can actually get some pretty cool stuff. But we got some houses sitting on here, and then on the top we got there's a there's a, actually an accident up here. There's a crime scene uh, up, up on the top. We did these row houses, and what I'm going to do is we're going to flatten this side out too, and we'll have row houses on this side, and we'll just mimic what we did on this side. So row houses on the top, little houses on the bottom. Uh, you can see all these little arrows popping up. That's a good sign. That means that the houses the value is going up. I think that's all that we did. I did. 
uh, put in some more industries here. So there's some more coal work and stuff going on there. And then we did uh, lay out another little housing development here in the square. And then I did this just general housing development around this little pond out here. And I put in a bunch of uh, farm sites. So that's where we're at. So that says lack of high skilled labor. That's what we're going to get into today. So since they don't have any high, uh, high skilled labor, we're going to have to get some high skilled labor, right? So I'm going to put this on pause real quick. Uh, we do have, how many points do we have to spend? We have two points to spend. I bought the intersection and the large roads. So we do have access to the intersections now, which look like this. So we have all these cool intersections, none that I can use right now at all. So this would be the only place I could use one, but I think that's fine. We'll probably end up doing a big one out here because we're going to have this highway come in and probably ex keep going through and we'll have this road connecting to that highway. So we'll have an entrance here and then we, we desperately need to get something from our city connected to uh, this highway here. That one's not going to be, we can't just use that one. So I don't know how that's going to work. We might end up having to have our highway uh, do something else. I just really don't know what we're going to do with this. Unless we turn this road, let me get let me get rid of that road. Unless we turn this road in here into a highway, and then maybe that highway meanders through the town and comes back out and then exits out somewhere else. I just don't know how that's going to work yet. We'll have to see how the traffic works. But with all that being said, you can see we have a high demand. Uh, we're at 6,000 people. We are growing. Uh, our our current budget isn't that bad. We're at $145,000 a month that we're losing. We need to get that up. I haven't really ran it that much. We are we're getting some, I guess, surpluses. We're not, so we don't need deficits. We're not importing a lot of stuff, but we do need to get some stuff going on here. I just don't know how that's going to happen. Uh, one way would be to do buses. Uh, but I think in order for all these people to have what they need, we need to get into colleges. And I think that's what we're going to get into. So I'm looking at this. We have two points to spend. We could set up a college uh, and that will give, give us the highly educated people. So we're going to spend on the college today and we're going to set up a college. And I really don't know where we're going to put it. I feel like what's going to happen is... This is our city area, which doesn't seem to be expanding very much. We're kind of here and here, and um, it's kind of, you know, I, I, I originally planned this to be the city area and this to be, you know, the, the living area. But I think what's going to happen is eventually the city is going to want to expand this way, kind of north. And we'll have to relocate all these people in Blackwood Springs and probably move them more north. Or they'll have to be moved across the river or something like that. Uh, but I think that this is going to be, if we want this to be our big city. Now this could just be a town, right? And then we buy like a, like maybe we buy this whole peninsula over here and turn that into the next city. And so we can just start over here and build another city. We don't have to have this one as our main city. It just so happens that it, that's what it's turning into. So where do we want to put a college, right? So if we go into education, we can see, let's go into education real quick. Which one's education? Uh, this one. You can see here that we have 723 kids available uh, for elementary school and 719 of them are going to school. So that's pretty good. We are getting really close to capacity. Okay. So we have a capacity of a thousand. That's our elementary school way over there. Uh, high school, we have 153 eligible. We have 148 kids in. I don't know why that this is, it says capacity 800, but this one's like way up here. I guess it's just saying that most of the people are, that are eligible are going to school. I guess that's how that's showing that. Uh, but as far as college, we have 322 people available for college and we don't have anywhere for them to go. So 22%, if you look at this, educated is here, right? 22% plus 44% are either educated or poorly educated. <laughs> That's not good. So we need to get these people educated and we just have to find a really good place to put it. And I, I just don't know, like this is going to be a college, right? It's not like a university. So it's not something huge. So I don't know, like, should we put it out here with this neighborhood? I don't want it in the industrial area. And then over here is kind of like we're getting out into the farmland area. And then over here, um, I did set up another cargo station here. I forgot to tell you guys that. So that's another cargo. Let's just let it let the game run, actually. Uh, so I'm thinking that a college would sit really nice, maybe just right here. I don't, let's see how big it is actually first. So let's see how big it is. Let's go into here and then college. It's going to cost us 150,000 upkeep. That's a lot of money. So that's our college. Man, I don't I don't think I want it there. <laughs> 
I really don't. I'm thinking what we might do is put our college out here, maybe. I don't know. I just I just don't know where a good place to put this would be. Um, I mean, we could put it over out this way. It's kind of out of the way, right? That just doesn't seem to be the best place to put it. I think what I want to do, I want to set it here inside this mountain this area. I think that's what I want to do. So let's go ahead and put it on pause real quick. Let's look at this. Let, I want to buy this little piece here. I think it'd be great to buy that. And then I think that's all i think we can handle all this up here i think that'd be fine so let's go ahead and do this let's go in here and grab this road let's look what it, and see what it takes to uh get this all evened out here so we got this terrain here we'll just continue that uh, up into that point and let's let's bring that back that goes all the way to that dark line right there so that's that dark line it's going to snug up across that way and then let's just bring this on up like this and that's going to be that's going to be that part and this is our school here and then we got this road up here and our 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 forestry is up here right so i don't really want to get up into the forestry area we might have to cut this road and have it come out this way so we might have to grab this terrain kind of go like this with that terrain and we'll fix that part so we might i don't want to get into that so let's let's actually grab all of this and flatten this out and then actually let's bring this straight through like this let's get rid of all that okay and then we could actually probably <laughs> just keep taking away this hillside like that. So that flattens all that out. And I think what I want to do is I want to set the college kind of like this road and this road are going to intersect. I think that'd be a good, a good place to start that. So let's have this road continue out at 100 degree, 180 degrees. And then we'll have this road here come across like this. And that'll be 180 degrees. And then we'll have it connect in at a 90. So is that a 90? Uh, let's just see here. Let's go like this. And we want to get that at a 90 degrees. Is that really not 90 degrees? Let's just grab some spot there and see if we can get a 90 to pop up here. There we go. There's 90 degrees. So we don't need that little, little nub there. So I think what I want to do is I want to have the college sit like right there. It's across from the elementary school. We can get some, we'll keep this treed off, but I think this would be a great spot for, for that. So let's go ahead. Let's get, um, let's have a one lane road come in from here. Okay, and then we'll have it come across, and then we'll have it come all the way down, and we'll have it exit out like this. Now let's get a 135, and then back out this way. So that's going to be our way into the college. So it's just a one-lane road. I think that'll keep traffic down. And then we'll put our college, like, right here. All right, so that's our college. So that is that. And then if we look at this... Our upgrades will be an extension wing, which is $300,000, provides uh, further room, and then we have a library. And this is $245,000. With its extended selection of textbooks, provides students better chances of graduating. I wanna go ahead and get this. I think this would be great for the school. So I think I wanna set it like, if we did the wings, where do the wings go? There, okay. So let's put this like right here. Yeah, I think that'd be good right there. And then we can, can I pull this? That's actually fine. And we can get another. We'll get a little parking lot in here. So we'll get her to grab this. And that's too big. I don't want the, want the fence, but we'll go ahead and get this one. Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll just put a, little, we'll put a little road on that. So let's grab our roads. And we'll put a little road here. So we'll have a road that comes up. And then, oops, we need to have that connected like that. We'll have this come out like this. And then we'll have an actual a road that comes up like this. Yeah, I like that. And then let's have it um, exit over onto this road here. So we'll have it come across. And those two will connect like that. Should we keep that? I think we should keep... Uh, should we keep that a one-lane road? That's probably going to be fine, right? It's a one-lane road coming in. Uh, and you could probably do a one-lane road coming back out. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll have a one-lane road that just keeps on going here. Yeah, and we'll, we'll decorate that. I think that'll be good. So you can come in and go out. Um, and then come in this way and then this will take you out and then we'll have that as our college and let's go ahead and bring uh, this road I kind of want to have this road there's nothing else that we can expand on this other than putting like a football field out here and that's what I'm kind of thinking I'm, I'm thinking ahead so I think that'd be the, the best place to put a football field so I'm gonna have this road come out and then follow this and then we'll get like a, a football field to set here and then maybe we can get some houses out here and then as far as this road here uh, I think we'll just bring this road on across and then we'll join that up there 
This is the elementary school, correct? Yeah, this is the elementary school. We'll bring this road down and stop it there. And then maybe we just we just do some cul-de-sac roads on this. Or actually, we could just do this. Uh, that's 180. We'll just do that. And then we'll, 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 uh, we'll curve this road like that. All right, that's cool. And then we'll just get... We'll just get rid of this little nub like that. That'll work. And we'll get something going on in here. Some little residential stuff. We'll get some stuff there. I think that I think that's going to work out great right there. So that's going to be our college. I think that's awesome. I don't think we have... I didn't unlock sports parks. So I really don't have anything for that. But I, I do think that we should probably do another parking lot. Maybe we do the parking lot over here. So let's see if that will fit. It will fit. So maybe we do two par two parking lots. Can we do three? We can. Uh, no, we can't. So let's do two parking lots there. And then that makes it look more like a college, right? Because it's, it's got all the parking. And then we'll decorate this with some little pathways. And uh, that should be all that we need here. So if we just grabbed... I kind of want to have this pathway come down like that and then I want to have a pathway that kind of comes down like this that's cool and then let's have a pathway that comes across the crosswalk there and then one right here with a crosswalk yep that works and then let's just do like a squiggly line one so let's just have it start here and just kind of whoops kind of meander its way through here like this and then out to the street like that and then we'll do the same thing over here we'll actually put I don't have anything zoned here. I don't know why. Maybe we just didn't zone anything there. Let's go ahead and put uh, a pathway like right here. Whoops, we gotta put that on straight. Put a pathway across here. And then we'll just decorate this the same way. So let's, we'll do some curvy stuff into this like that for the, for the kids. We'll join that into that, please. Oops, I didn't want to join that. So let's grab this and this and go like, I just want one little space. There we go. It doesn't want to do that. So it wants to actually make a crosswalk there. That's fine. We'll do a crosswalk there. And I'll just plant a bunch of trees up against that. That should be fine, right? And then we got all this to to work with. And then we have this whole, this whole section here. I'll probably put office buildings here. So I think that's going to be great. So what I want to do now, since we've spent all this money and we're going to be like in terrible amount of debt now, uh, we really, <laughs> we really need to get some more tax revenue. I'm already up to 12%. I think what I'll do is we'll drop the education ones down and we'll raise the highly educated up. I know this is very not real uh, but we'll just see if this works so commercial is good office we could probably raise up we'll see if that helps what's that give us tax wise uh money wise i should say so that it doesn't affect us yet service trade service from city services can be treated uh, surrounding cities that's the only thing that i don't have um so with our with our with this, I don't think we're we're not um, dealing with outside sources right now. I don't think that this even works. Boarding and route. So I don't know how to get this to take outside collections. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if there is a way of doing that. I don't know if there is like if we go into our our city finances, we go into our production. Like here's our services, right? How do I get outside services? How do I do, like, this is immaterial. There's material goods. How do I get, like, trash? See, we're importing. See all the stuff that's red? That means we're paying for this, right? So we're paying for oil. We're paying for all this stuff. We need to produce all this stuff ourselves. But I don't see anywhere that it, where we can, like, export our trash. The only thing that we could really export would be electricity. And in order to do that, we would need to literally start building our own power plants, which we just don't have that yet. Uh, the only other way of getting more money is to, uh, of course, grow the economy. What is their problem over here? So high taxes, uh, irregular and then high crime. This will go back up. So we have the we have that. I think what I want to do now is just get some bus lines in. So it's going to get people moving, right? So we need a bus depot and then uh, we don't want the taxi stand. The bus depot is going to cost us another what sixty two thousand dollars a month uh what's going on here oh it's not nothing yeah that's gonna cost us another sixty two thousand dollars a month let's see real quick let's just put it in motion let's let it play for a little bit we're getting ready to reach we need like 400 experience and let's see how this affects what's going on in our city i want to see if this will this is all not enough customer type crap right here that can be taken care of with some with some residential housing so if we go in here and just put in some of this uh medium density housing we can actually do a medium 
medium density housing and this will take care of a lot of this like this so it's, it needs a couple of them so what this really needs they need sh they need people to move into their stores and these buildings here just aren't aren't keeping up with it so we'll put some over here and hopefully that'll satisfy because over here you can see where it's orange well it's not showing up orange right now but if we did like commercial this you can see where it's orange so there's lots of people here that's why there's orange there's just uh they're not shopping so we don't we need more residential in that area uh let's go into this real quick this and then uh, we really don't have any specialized stuff so is there anything that we can build this is well-being. Uh, this, we have uh, the dairy. So we already did the dairy one. We could build it again, though. Already built. We just need to unlock some of this other stuff. So we need mining area hub buildings, oil drilling. We need forestry area hub buildings, industrial manufacturing buildings. We need 8,000 and... Holy crap. Yeah, that's going to... <laughs> so yeah, we need uh, a lot. We need a lot. So... Let's check on our college. Uh, we're doing really well. We already have 45 students, 44 students. That's pretty cool. It's costing us a fortune. Our efficiency isn't very high though. Not enough employees. Well, you need to hire them then, that's why. So employee happiness is really good, just not enough. So let's see if this number is gonna go up. It's actually going down. So we need more, more, more people. So let's go in here and let's build um, some density uh, buildings here. And then maybe we do some North American uh, row houses, which would be like uh, houses for college students. So maybe we do like a big row of them right here and see if that helps with that situation. And then as far as the other housing, I don't really have any room over here for housing, but we do have our new neighborhoods over here that we can start filling in. So we have this whole section over here of houses that we can fill in so let's go ahead and start filling in some of these and some of these and then i don't want any in those roads but we'll start filling in this neighborhood here so i'll fill in these first couple here that's taking our demand down a little bit which is good that's what i wanted it to do so let's these houses aren't gonna be very big in this little area but that's okay these could be though if they wanted to be and then these could be too so for some reason these didn't zone that's weird why that didn't zone but that's okay that's okay we'll let that fill in fill it in and then we need some more commercial so let's just go ahead and do or more industrial so we we'll grab some commercial or industrial i keep calling them the same thing that should take so here we go so we're at a busy town we just got an infusion of cash we got lots of uh spaces that we can unlock and seven more points so what did it unlock it unlocked ore mining which is this is going to be great for us because we can get rid of that in gated communities which is cool so big town is going to be where we start getting into the density stuff and then oil drilling that's where we're really going to get into some money i like that okay so while we're doing this we're up to four million dollars we're losing two hundred fifty six thousand dollars. let's get into some oil real quick so let's put this on pause all right and then we need to go in here and see uh, we're still not getting a lot of customers downtown but i'm not too worried about that Man, we could put in some more residential. It's just they're not getting... Uh, we'll do bus lines next episode. I think bus lines will solve a lot of this issue. They're just not getting people here. So these people need to have a ride to get over here. This, however, is not is not working so the company cannot find enough employees with higher education levels i don't know what education level that they're looking for but it seems like none of them are getting it so hopefully our college is going to provide that uh, I don't know if we've had anybody graduate, but we are getting how many how many students do we have 91 students? So we are getting there is our education level going up though So we were at 22 and 44. So it's starting we got one and a half percent So they'll graduate and as soon as they graduate a lot of this stuff will be taken care of cool All right, so this is what I wanted to look at so we have ore here So this is where we can get a lot of our ore and then we have a lot of ore I believe over here no, this is just farmland. This is where the oil is. Uh, we got some ore up here. So let's go ahead and get this started. Can we get... How are we going to do it? I need to get into this this area that's right here. So is it possible to get a road? Uh, we can even do like a dirt road. It doesn't really matter. Can I get a road alongside this? No. Can I get a road... Um, like right here it won't let us because it says the road is wet that one works so let's get this one here and we'll come in and then we will kind of like follow the train tracks 135 degrees 
like that. And then we'll just do this all as an ore, right? So if we go in here and this, now we have ore. So we can put an ore mine and we will set this like right here and we will grab all of this freaking ore as much as we can get all the way to the highway. I want to turn off this 90 and I'm just going to follow this all the way to the highway. Uh, we'll go right up against their fence. Okay. And we'll come all the way down here. And then actually let's go to here. Well, let not let us overlapping items. All right, let's go back. We'll, we'll, we'll give a little separation here and then we'll come all the way to here and then across to the road and then to there and then there, and then then back. All right, so that's all ore mining. And then if we wanted to, we could probably get another one that's over here. Uh, I just don't know, does this have a lot of pollution? Does it tell? So noise pollution's medium, ground pollution medium, air pollution medium. So yeah, we don't wanna put it over here. I just want any other places that's got ore. I mean, we have ore that's way out here that I guess we could get into, right? I mean, there's that's the only other place that we have ore. I would kind of like to do some more forestry like alongside the back here. But let's see how much that gives us. Uh, what else did we get from that? Is there anything, like forestry would be the only other thing that we could do, and I don't have anything else unlocked that would give us forestry. <clears throat> if we planted a bunch of trees though, we could get forestry over here. So we could go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and, and plant a bunch of trees and then they'll grow. So I think if we click on these trees, you can see here that the wood on a pine is 2455. Uh, birch is 2000. So what's the best tree to plant? 2000, 24. So it looks like pines maybe? What's up here in the, in the mountains? What kind of woods are up here? Because we didn't plant any of these trees. These are already here. Uh, pines, pines, pines. Yeah, it looks like pines are going to be the best thing. So let's plant a bunch of pines. Uh, let's plant a bunch of pines like right... I kind of want to keep this as all residential on this side though. Let's plant a bunch of pines like right here in this little corner here. And then we'll just let it grow over time. So we'll do... Uh, let's go into this. And then is this the pine? That's alders, uh, birch, poplar, pines. There we go. And then we'll do the big one. And then we'll do brush strength, huge. And then we'll just go like this. So we're gonna fill all this in. We're gonna spend a ton of money on trees, right? And then we'll eventually like farm it all out. So we'll do that little section there. And then all this area here. We can't, We probably should just do this everywhere. We got $4 million. Might as well just fill it all in. <laughs> so let's do that. That's done. Uh, let's see, what are we lacking? high taxes i'm not too worried about the tax situation right now uh health and crime uh the only place that i could probably see that they're going to complain about crime is right here because i don't have any i don't believe i have any services over here yeah it's not so we need to make uh, these guys need uh, a zone, so we'll go ahead and zone this. So we'll give this these people an area. So we'll name this one thing, and then we'll give this section over here. Actually, they have they have a section. So if we go into this police department here and select districts, we need this, and then they're already taking care of that. So why is there crime over there? There shouldn't be any crime. Yeah, it's showing crime on these on these areas. This here has got a lot of crime. I mean, I guess I mean I've been doing all of the residential areas. I guess we could do we should probably zone all this to over here too. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just zone all this as industry. So we'll come all the way to here. And this will just be one gigantic big industrial area. And let's go to the highway. We'll come across there. And then over here, let's zone this as their own little area right here. All right. And then we'll zone this as their own little area over here. This is really the only way you can do this. You can always change these two, by the way, just so you guys know. So now if I go into our police departments and I clicked districts, we can click that district there and that's fine. All right, and then if I come over here, I believe I moved the police station over here to somewhere else. Where did we move the police station over here? I think it's right here. Yeah, police station there, select districts. We'll add that district in this district. So they're operating at 113% efficiency. So there's fine. Uh, they might not need as many cars. That might be the only thing that we need to do. So maybe we go into uh, city services and just look at, let's go in here. So we're, we need to drop this. <laughs> service upkeeps is the big thing, right? So if we go click on service, upkeeps services uh what's one of our biggest education i'm fine with healthcare uh fire and rescue is not bad police is not bad police budget we could probably drop that does do let's drop it to like 70 percent right um educational services we could probably drop a little bit um 
Electricity, I don't know why we're spending so much on electricity. We're importing everything, right? So it shouldn't matter. We just need to get this budget down and we need to get this, we need to get this up. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and kickstart this and see if we can get some of this stuff started. We need to end this episode here pretty soon. So, oh, what is that? Oh, check that out. That's cool. That is really cool. All right, so let's get some more, let's just get some more going on out here. So, all right, guys. So I've been letting it run. We're in like almost the end of December. Um, we are, our population is growing pretty rapidly. We're just, we're losing money and our guy, our people are basically the same. I just now started getting some high density demand, but I wanted to show you, I went ahead and unlocked uh, the incinerator plant. The only reason I did that, it's going to keep, it's going to cost us a crap ton of money, but it produces power, right? Up to 40 megawatts, depending on how much trash we burn. But if the recycling center, that's going to cost us $160,000 a month. My God. So it collects and sorts garbage to produce re reusable materials, which then can be sold uh this prod uh this produces income for the city so i think i want to try this its capacity is 1500 tons a month uh garbage trucks so i think i want to try this is huge isn't it so what does it produce it's just noise pollution i think i want to put this out here so i think this would be a good place to put this yeah i think this would be good because the noise pollution is going to go this way i'd imagine but this how big is this this is pretty pretty substantial so if we put that there how big are the so we're going to put those in the back the depots can go on the site and then this goes on the back as well what is this this is the storage extension this is hazardous waste collection allowing garbage to present at a higher speed that's another forty thousand dollars a month uh we could probably do that like set that right there i think i want to do that and then select the operating districts all of them <laughs> Like really, all thing that we have. Uh, so we'll just collect all of them. I don't think it, I don't really think that we need to actually do this. I think, I think it operates everywhere. So I think we'll just do that. So it's gonna operate everywhere. So we'll see how that goes. I, it is an expense up front. I'm afraid to use this though, the incinerator plant. I mean, if you look at our garbage, we're processing uh, 1600 tons a month. Um, land fill availability we're getting low right but if you look at our power this is the only reason i'm thinking about this if you look at our power we're consuming 46 we're importing 41 so if we didn't import any electricity we would save a crap ton of money right if we go to our budgets and look so we are spending uh, a lot of money if we go to services actually uh electricity we're spending one hundred sixty-five thousand dollars a month importing importing uh, uh, gas or importing electricity. I think we could, I think we could get that to go away if we, if we did this. Now I know this is going to be an expense. I want to put it way out here on this road or on this area. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and put this road in. I will fix this in between episodes, but this road basically is just going to go like this uh, and we'll keep it like that. And then this road here is going to come in and connect. Ooh, it doesn't like that, does it? So can I go like this? Yeah, I can. I think I'm going to put it like right here beside the highway. So let's just see if this is going to work in center. Oh my Lord. That thing is gigantic. Yeah, I don't know about that. We might have to buy an additional square. <laughs> That's impossible. I mean, we could put it out here, I guess, by the landfill. Man, that's just, that's that's insane. I guess that's where the only place we could put it, really. Let's go ahead and do it. We can always move it, right? We can always move it. So let's bring this road out like this. Uh, we'll connect this road in. And then we'll put the incinerator plant here. I know we're spending a lot of money. Hopefully this isn't a bad decision, but I think this is the best, the best case scenario. So let's do that. All right, and then these are all the upgrades. So we have an extra incinerating furnace. Uh, we got a garbage truck depot. Enables the plant to maintain a much larger fleet. We don't really need that. Storage extension. We don't really need that. So where do these go? Just curious. So they can go anywhere around it. This is... Um, actually, that's just on the plant, right? And then this goes here. I just don't see where that goes. It doesn't show where it goes. Oh, we need Oh, we need to connect this to our power. All right. So if we did that, then I could do this and go underground, right? And then we can connect into this. Did that work? I think it did. Yeah, I think that did work. So let's go ahead and start it. I, kn I know we're going to like probably tank in funds here in a second, right? Did that did that not, not connect? Cable's not connected. All right, let's go destroy underground cable. And then let's go this. There we go. Did that not, that's not, not connecting. Do we need a, a substation here? I don't believe so. Maybe we do. 
All right, let's let's go ahead and destroy this. Uh, we'll put a substation here. So we'll go like this. It's a transformer station. I'm guessing, right? Um, I'm confused. Let's put it on pause real quick. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this. All right, and then let's bring a power line out. Let's go above ground, right? And that's going out. And then we'll connect that underground. Go underground. Connect that to that. That's saying that it can't, but it should. It should. Let's just give it a second. It should go away. I'm thinking that this needs to go back down to low voltage. That's the only thing I could think of, right? Unless we do, unless they want us to literally connect it. So let's go to this. Because it's getting powered by the street, right? So we don't need this. But we could uh, go like this. We could bring this high power over. Oh, because that's low voltage. Okay, 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 okay. So we need to come like this. There we go. That's what it wants. There we go. So we can sell that now. And if you notice, we just got a big demand for some thick residential right here. So let's let's put in some <laughs> some thick residential. Uh oh, what are these? Theater mansion? Is it free? It's free when not in stage. So this is a mansion. Nice. I think I'm gonna put that up on top of the up on top of the cliff. Let's put that um what do what do we get from it? Well being within one kilometer. All right, that's cool. Let's put this up on top of the hill. Let's put it um, like right here. That's cool. And then this is a pop musician's mansion. So we'll put the pop musician's man manor. Um, let's put him across. Let's put him across. He's gonna be over here and by the by this area here. So he needs his nice little lot to himself. Let's put it right here. So he has his little mansion by the lake. So that's cool. And then that's all we really have. But we do have some demand. So let's go in here. And let's grab uh, some low rent housing. I don't know if that's what they really want, but we need some more customers down here. So I'm guessing that would probably be something that would fix that, right? So if we did some low rent housing in between here and here, start it. Yeah, that is kind of what they wanted. So let's see if that works downtown. That looks like it's taking, it took all our demand. So that's exactly what they wanted. All right, so we got some, we got some low rent housing downtown and then actually wants some more of this stuff here so let's go into here and do north uh north american and this worked out pretty well over here so i think i'm just gonna do the same thing down here uh oh that was medium density housing i didn't want to do that that's okay that's gonna take care of some of the college stuff i think that's good uh what's our problem still nothing and we're at eighteen thousand, so we're not we're still doing pretty good i mean really this is the only thing i have a concern with these buildings over here these 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 they keep they keep going abandoned and i don't know let's go above ground i don't know why so these are medium density housing uh and we had that zoned as that so let's do this uh, it really can't because of the parking lot oh i see parking lot kind of overlaps it but we could do some medium density here let's see if that let's see if that works maybe we're not ready for the high density stuff yet that's the only thing I'm thinking about. Uh, so we got some up arrows, which is good. Uh, our population is still growing, actually growing pretty quick, about 200, 200 an hour. Uh, let's look at our income and see if that actually is helping us at all. So our service trade has services. See our electricity, our electricity is still pretty high. Is How much is this actually producing? Uh, processing speed. So let's go back up to this and we're still importing a ton of electricity and we're consuming a ton. So we're, there we go, our production's going up. So that's good. We need this number to go way up. I mean, we could put some more windmills. I mean, if we wanted to, I mean, that'd be the best case scenario, right? Is to put another windmill and that would give us some more power. We need to put this under the ground. So that gives us some more power. That's our, that's our, that's going to be a, that's going to be a big, a big expense is power. I believe. I just feel like it. We need to export power though to make some money. So I think that's all we're going to do today, guys. We got a lot done. Uh, this episode's probably going to be long by the time I edit it, but hopefully our, our neighborhood is going to like what we're doing. We're still growing at about 200 per hour, which is pretty good. But yeah, guys, if you guys got any uh, suggestions or comments, leave them in there and make sure you hit that like button if you would, please. Oh, also, before we go, I went ahead and added another elementary school over here to, to take care of all these people because uh, we need good educated people. So I will see you next time guys hope you guys enjoy the day and uh catch you next time